Hello, well, Steve White, Trickboy89, the Steve Bouts89. Um, I'm having fun going through all my experiences meeting the Star Trek actors and celebrities and that over the years in Melbourne. Um, and one of the big sort of, you know, Star Trek ones was um, Brent Spiner. And um, he was just here for one of the regular conventions, the same person was running it and everything, and I knew the people, and it's very casual and very intimate. They did a lot of these, that was a really great thing. All these conventions that were run were very intimate ones in Melbourne. They weren't like the big giant um, supernova Armageddon events that we have now, which is sort of mirroring the ones they have in America. They were very small mum and pop sort of run sort of things with just the, the fan club people that knew each other and that, they were really great. You really got time to hang out with the celebrities and talk to them and um, they planned little events and things and wine tours and um, just trips and things like that on the, on the other days that they were there and stuff like that. They were just really great. They had a, we had a really good run for about a decade before we sort of got into the bigger sort of um, expo sort of things. It sort of transitioned from the little little Star Trek conventions to the bigger sort of expos now, which is sort of what we have a couple of years of now. But um, Brent was... I, I mean, I always loved Data, the character, but I never really liked... Brent. I feel like he felt he was just really clever and just really smart and he's always thought he was so funny. I never really appreciated his humour. I never thought he was that amazing. But I wanted to meet him because he was Data. And when I met him, he was a little bit, he was sort of like that and I was sort of like, okay. I didn't, get an, I didn't get a photograph with him, just got an autograph and I think it was a similar thing as with um, Robert Englund. I was like the last person in the line because often I, I have issues with my... Um, um, like that, sometimes I would just instead of waiting in a line for hours, I'd just wait, go off, do something, look at the look at the stalls, come back, have lunch, whatever, and come back and get on the end of the line instead of standing there the whole time. I may be the last person, whatever. And sometimes it's bad because they're tired and they just want to go. Other times it's kind of good because it's you know they're relaxing and slowing down because they've just got a few people left. They're not rushing. You get a little bit more time to like chat and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I was sort of the last person, and he was sort of like, oh, great, the last person. And and then the organiser came up and dumped a bunch of, you know, autographs that had to be signed for people who'd paid in advance or who couldn't come, so they were getting them sent to them, or people who were working um, as part of the, the um, convention and, you know, had were getting autographs and stuff. And he just sort of looked at me like, oh, I thought I was done. I thought you were the last one, and sort of blamed me for it and sort of gave me a look. I'm like, okay. And then we end up, same thing, I was hanging out with some of the people who run the show and that and um, work in the show and that. And, and I ended up going down the elevator with him and I just felt like he was looking at me like, mm hmm <laughs> It wasn't great. But um, I, I wasn't expecting a great experience from meeting him because he doesn't, I, I, I don't feel like I would have really liked him as a person. I don't think we really would have got along anyway. Like some of the other acts I, I just really clicked with and we had little moments and we're chatting and hanging out and having fun. He was just... I want to meet you for the character and because you're Brent Spiner, I just want to say I met Brent Spiner. Like, William Shatner was the same. It's like, I, I know he's not going to be nice. It's going to be a horrible experience because I nearly didn't see William Shatner because um, he was doing a sort of one-man show sort of um, thing where people were, he was being interviewed by someone or something. I went to that and I thought, that'll be it. I've seen him live in person. I don't need to meet him. And then he was at a convention I was already at for the Charmed Girls. I'm like, ugh. Oh, I may as well meet him, he's here. I'm, I don't want to regret not getting an autograph later. And he may be nice. Maybe he'll have an off day and he'll just be nice to me because I'm, I'm, I'm a fan and no, he was his, his usual self. But, um, yeah, so Data, not, not Brent Spiner, not the best, but, um, you know, still, you know, I met Data. That was cool. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Have you met Brent? Was he, well, how was he for you? Because I know some people love him and they think he's amazing and they just lo they get his sort of sense of humour and the way he sort of looks at things and I never did. I sort of thought, you're kind of lame and think you're really, really clever and I just don't think you are. Um, so maybe I was the problem. Maybe it was my attitude. But I'm going to go.